Om Shanti. This is the Avyakt Murli of 6th of April, 1982. And the title is The Qualifications of a Servant and the Qualification of One with All Rights. Today, Bhavdada is looking at the gathering of the Raj Rishis. A Raj means someone with all rights, and a Rishi means a renunciate. A renunciate and a tapasvi. So Bhavdada is looking at all the Brahmin children to see to what extent each of you has become so with all rights and also a great renunciate. To what extent have you put into your life the practical form of both these aspects? There should be the balance of being someone with all rights and also a renunciate. Are you able to be both of these simultaneously? Do you have all rights over yourself? That is, have you attained self-sovereignty? It is when you adopted renunciation that you became a master of yourself. You have this experience, do you not? You have already been told the definition of a renunciate. The first step of renunciation is the renunciation of body consciousness. Once you have renounced body consciousness, the second step is that of renouncing the relations of the body. What do you become when you let go of the consciousness of the body? The soul becomes bodiless. That is, he becomes a master. You cannot be a servant and someone with all rights simultaneously. Being a servant is indicated by unhappiness in your mind and expressed on your face. Unhappiness is the sign of a servant, whereas happiness is the sign of someone with all rights and a master of the self. He is constantly cheerful in the mind and the body. A servant is always upset. A self-sovereign is always seated on his throne. A servant becomes confused over trivial matters in a second, whereas a self-sovereign constantly experiences himself to be in comfort. Check yourself against these signs to see whether you are a servant or a master of yourself. Do any adverse situations, people, physical comforts, or the environment make you lose your respect? This means, do they take you away from knowledge? That is, do they cause you distress? A servant is someone who is always distressed, whereas someone with all Writes, is constantly a master almighty authority, a destroyer of all obstacles, and always stable in the pure pride of his stage. He maintains his honor and prestige and stays in a state of pleasure while continuing to observe adverse situations, people, and physical comforts. A soul who is a servant constantly experiences himself to be amidst all types of tests. A self-sovereign soul is a boatman who takes his boat across happily through all the waves of tests as though it is a game. And seeing the wonderful games 
of the karma of souls. Pap Dada, together with being merciful, also smiles. In Sakar days, Baba used to relate an amusing story. Do you remember the story? Oh, servant soul, what are you doing? You were told how a mouse would come, and when you removed the mouse, a cat would come. When you removed the cat, a dog would come. When you removed one, another one came. Then when you removed the second, a third one came along. Such souls remain busy in the game of that karma because they are servant souls. Sometimes the mouse in the form of eyes deceives you. Sometimes the cat in the form of ears deceives you. Sometimes the lion in the form of bad sun scars attacks and thus the poor soul, the servant, remains very sad in trying to remove those sun scars. This is why Bab Dada feels mercy and is also amused. Why do you leave your throne? Why do you automatically slip off? Set yourself with the magnet of remembrance and you won't slip off. What do you then do? You place very big files of complaints and requests in front of Bab Dada. Some complain that they have been upset for a month. Some say that they have been fluctuating for the past three months. Some say that they have been thinking for six months, but it is still the same. When all of these complaints are put together, they become such a big file. However, you should also just be aware that the bigger the file becomes, the bigger the fine becomes. And that will have to be paid. Therefore, the easy way to finish complaints is to constantly fulfill the Father's wishes. When you say, my desire is to, then that desire of yours creates a file of complaints. It should be, whatever is the Father's desire, is my desire. What is the Father's desire? That each soul becomes one who constantly maintains pure and positive thoughts, who always has pure and positive thoughts for others and is a self-benefactor and world benefactor. Constantly keep this desire in your awareness and you will continue to move along without having to labor over anything. Just as it is said, continue to move along with closed eyes. So don't open your eye of such questions as, it won't be like this, will it? It won't be like that, will it? Keep this eye of waste thoughts closed and continue to fulfill the Father's desire. That is, continue to place your steps in the Father's footsteps. Is it easy or difficult to place your steps in someone else's steps? So, in this way, constantly continue to follow the Father. Don't take new steps of following a sister or brother. By doing that, you prevent yourself from reaching your destination. Give them regard, but don't follow them. Accept their specialties and virtues, 
but place your footsteps in the Father's footsteps. Don't do things with selfish motives at that time. You also talk of things of selfish motives in an entertaining way. Bob Dada will tell you about their dialogue at some other time because Bob Dada receives the news from all the service stations. Baba receives the news of the whole world. Therefore, don't become a servant soul. These physical senses are very tiny. The eyes and ears are so tiny, but they create a very big clap. You must have seen how. Although a tiny spider is itself so tiny, the web it spins is so large. The web of each of the physical senses is so large. They can trap you in such a way that you don't even know that you are trapped in them. They are such magical webs that they make you unconscious to spiritual consciousness and godly codes of conduct. No matter how much souls who have come out of the web try to explain to servant souls and make them understand, what can unconscious souls understand? In a physical way also, no matter how much you shake an unconscious person, no matter how much you try to make that one understand, even if you put huge earphones on his ears, would he hear you? Similarly, these webs too make you unconscious like that. So, then what pleasure would there be? When some are unconscious, they speak a lot, but their words are meaningless. Many in the state of spiritual unconsciousness give their own explanations about everything, but all of them are meaningless. They continue to speak about things that are two or six months old, about things of here and there. Such is this spiritual unconsciousness. The situations may be very small, but the web of unconsciousness is very big. It also takes a long time to come out of it because you try to cut each string of the web. Have you have ever seen a net trap? You also have one in one of the exhibition pictures. Remove that net. A spider sets its own web. Therefore, don't go into expansion, but put a full stop to the expansion and merge it into a point. Become a point. Put a full stop. Merge into the point and all expansions and the world net will become merged in a second and time will be saved. You will become free from having to labor. You will become a point and be absorbed in the love of the points. So just think about it. Is the stage of being trapped in a net better? Or is the stage of becoming a point and remaining absorbed in the love of the point better? Therefore, what is the Father's desire for you to be absorbed in love? Since the tree now has to be transformed, what remains at the end of the tree? The beginning starts from a seed and at the end too. All that remains is a seed. Now, at this time of the transformation of the old tree, stabilize yourself in the stage of a master seed 
at the top of the tree. A seed is a point. This stage of a master seed is so lovely. Remain constantly stable in such a stage. Do you understand what you have to do? Look, this is the specialty of both zones. Karnatak means a play, Natak, that has now come to an end. Therefore, now becomes absorbed in love. In UP, there are many rivers. A river always merges into an ocean. So all of you must merge yourselves in the ocean, that is, become absorbed in love. This is the specialty of both zones, is it not? Therefore, with pure pride, constantly remain seated in the stage of being absorbed in love. Don't fluctuate. You have now finished the cycle of coming and going. Have you not? Now sit down comfortably while maintaining your pure pride. Acha, to all those who constantly have all rights and are complete renunciates, to those who are constantly free from the web of unconsciousness, to those who are free from coming and going, to those who remain absorbed in love while stable in the master seed stage, to the Raj Rishi souls, Bab Dada's love, remembrance, and Namaste. Bab Dada meeting teachers, all of you are instrument souls, are you not? Do you constantly move along while considering yourselves to be souls who are instruments for service? By considering yourself to be an instrument soul, two specialties are constantly visible in a practical way. One, there is constant humility while you continue to be constructive. Two, you constantly eat and feed others the fruit of contentment. By considering yourself to be an instrument, you experience yourself to be detached and loving towards the Father. You don't even say, I did this. The word I is finished. Instead of I, it is Baba, Baba. When you constantly say Baba, Baba, everyone's intellect turns towards the Father. When the intellect of the souls who come in directed towards the one who made you an instrument, they will experience special power. Because their yoga will be connected with the almighty authority, they will experience themselves to be embodiments of power. Otherwise, they just remain weak. So the specialty of a server is to move along while considering himself to be an instrument. Look, the greatest of all servers is the father. However, his specialty is that he considers himself to be an instrument. Although he is the master, he considers himself to be an instrument. Because of considering himself to be an instrument, he is loved by all. Therefore, as you move along, constantly have the awareness that you are an instrument, detached and loving. All of you are doing service. This is the lottery you have won. However, it is in your own hands whether you increase the lottery you have won or whether you leave it as it is. The Father has given it to you, and 
is now your duty to increase it. The same fortune has been distributed to everyone, but some look after it and increase it, and others don't. It is through this that you become number wise. Therefore, constantly make yourself move forward and also help others to move forward. To help others move forward is to move forward yourself. You saw the father. He kept the mother at the front, and yet he became the number one Narayan. She became Lakshmi, the second number. But he moved forward by helping others move forward. To help others move forward doesn't mean you move backward. To help others move forward means to move forward yourself. All of you servers are making very good effort. Bab Dada is pleased on seeing your efforts. But you should serve while considering yourselves to be instruments. And then service will multiply fourfold. You have been given the seat of being equal to the Father. Now, remain seated, set on this seat and increase service. Acha? Bab Dada meeting groups. One, in order to become a special soul, look at everyone's specialties. Bab Dada constantly sings praise of the specialties of all the children, just as the father looks at the specialties of all the children. So too, you special souls should continue to make yourself into special souls while looking at everyone's specialties. The duty of special souls is to look at specialties and to become special. Whenever you come into contact with other souls, your vision should fall on their specialty. Just as a bee's vision is constantly on flowers, so your vision should be on everyone's specialty. While looking at every Brahmin soul, constantly sing his praise, Va elevated soul, Va. By seeing the weaknesses of others, you yourself become weak. Your vision should not fall on the stone of anyone's weakness. You holy swans should constantly pick up the pearls of virtues. Two, keep the importance of yourself in this time in your awareness and you will become great. Every second of the Confluence Age is the time to create your reward for the whole cycle. Do you always take every step while constantly understanding the importance of this time? Just as this time is great, so you too are great. Because every child has received from Bab Dada the inheritance to become a great soul. Therefore, create every thought, speak every word, and perform every action while understanding your own importance. Always maintain the awareness that you are a great child of the Great Father. With this awareness, you can create as elevated a fortune as you want. The Confluence Age has this blessing. Constantly continue to play with the treasures you have received from the Father. Can you count how many limitless treasures you have received? Therefore, constantly continue to play with the jewels of knowledge, treasure of happiness, and powers. Jewels should constantly emerge through your lips. Your mind should constantly churn 
knowledge. Remain an embodiment of dharana in this way. Always remember, this is the elevated time. I am a great soul. Acha, blessing. May you be an elevated effort maker who finishes everything ordinary and experiences greatness. Every thought of the children who are elevated effort makers is great because they have natural remembrance of the Father in their every thought and breath. On the path of devotion, they say that they heard the unspoken word and that the soundless chant continues. Similarly, when your efforts are constant, that is called elevated effort. You shouldn't have to make effort to remember, but your remembrance should be automatic. Only then can ordinary things finish and your greatness continues to enter you. This is the sign that you are moving forward. Slogan, only those who go to the bottom of the ocean with the power to turn, claim a right to the jewels. Om Shanti.